All right, so I have the Canik TP9 SF. This is a full size, bare bones, basic Canik 9mm semi automatic handgun. Polymer striker fired. Full size, bare bones, just enough to get the job done. Let's uh, take a couple shots. Nice trigger. I notice all of the Canics have good triggers out of the box, right from the factory. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be my review of the Canic TP9 SF1 series. And you may have seen this going around the internet because of one big thing. $2.99. <laughs> yep, you get this gun for $2.99. Probably cheaper at the gun stores, but MSRP was $2.99 at SHOT Show. That's pretty amazing. Uh, and I'm guessing it's called the one because it comes with one magazine and nothing else. <laughs> So let's uh, take a closer look at this gun and I'll show you what you really get for $2.99. All right, so right out the gate, as you can tell, it is a full size handgun. So good for security, law enforcement, home defense, truck gun. Um, open carry it's a full-size gun uh, if your department allows you to carry a, a canic then this might be an option if you're if you want something that's very high quality and well made and full-size and got has awesome ergonomics <laughs> it just feels phenomenal in the hand uh, or if you're security guard if you're a security officer uh, that they require that you buy your own guns you know there's guys out there that have to buy their own guns that they don't have a lot of money 299 full size gun very well made so uh, let's go from top to bottom you're gonna have a 4.46 inch barrel full size slide nitride coated it says tp9 sf on the slide right there and canic on the other side really good looking finish can't complain about it even though it's a budget gun it looks way better than those cheap high points <laughs> that are about uh, I don't know 250 you know 150 to 250 looks way better than those no slide serrations in the front nice and clean some people will actually appreciate that uh, looks good again with those slab cuts on both sides it almost seems reminiscent of an HK or an MMP so on the rear you have slanted slide serrations to make life easy when it comes to racking, let's take that out. Slingshot over the top, nice and easy. Up front, dovetail steel sight in the front with a white dot. Very simple. In the rear, you have a worn tactical sight. It's got that ledge in the back. You can hit it on your belt, on your boot, on the wall if you're doing uh, one-handed malfunction drills you can hit that pretty good it's also steel and dovetailed in there with a set screw so it doesn't pop out you can be real aggressive with this thing that's nice nice big uh, extractor pretty huge it has a loaded chamber indicator on the top for those guys that like that kind of thing picatinny rail 1913 style Picatinny rail with three slots in the front so lights and lasers and all that good stuff you can put on there. I always recommend a good light if you're uh, using this for work. Trigger is just your standard Canic polymer trigger but Canics are known to be good triggers. Matter of fact, let's test it out. Press, press, press. You do have a little bit of travel there. Again, this is just a factory budget trigger. So you have quite a bit of travel, but you hit a wall, you feel it. 
and then you break through the wall press 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 nice crisp audible trigger and then reset oh that's what people love about Canix beautiful reset nice and short crisp break short reset that's phenomenal guys of course it's striker fired so when it's cocked you'll see the red you're dead and when you press it it disappears cock it it comes back and my impressions of this at the range was fantastic guys really good trigger accurate enough for home defense and duty I didn't shoot it for accuracy I just shot it for reliability but I was hitting the steel no problem you know at 25 30 yards no problem trigger guard just your standard square trigger guard nothing fancy there a little bit of an undercut there not much but you do get a high nice high grip on there nice high grip as you can see there trigger guard just your standard squared trigger guard with a little bit of an undercut there so you can get your finger nice and high and get a good grip on it you have a beaver tail in the back which is awesome and glocks don't do that and i hate that glocks have that extra piece you got to clamp on this it's built from the factory with a good beaver tail so you don't get slide bite on your skin back here see that that's nice i wish other companies would do that are you listening glock <laughs> and the front of the trigger is just flat nothing fancy there it does have some texturing though so your support hand can rest on there if you're that kind of guy who does that mag release button is textured and it is metal that's kind of cool it's not plastic it's actually steel which is nice you can swap it to the other side if you want to so it's ambidextrous capable but it's not always ambidextrous on stippling on the sides texturing on the front strap texturing on the back strap it is swappable to another back strap if you want to they do give you one here it's either smaller or bigger but either way they give you um, two different sizes to go with a little bit of notch right there a little like a little cutout. i don't know why it's just a design feature the grip itself is really comfortable one of the most comfortable grips of any gun regardless of price i mean it feels really good it's actually amazing guys go to the gun store Put your hands on this and you'll see what I mean. It's really comfortable. I love it. No flared magwell, which you're, I'm not surprised because it's only $2.99. And then back here, there is a little cutout for a lanyard. So you could loop a lanyard in there. If you're one of those guys that need a lanyard for whatever reason, motorcycle, horseback, whatever, you need some kind of retention. That's kind of nice. Comes with one steel Metgar magazine that holds 18 rounds. So 18 plus one, that's 19 rounds in this gun. That's a lot of firepower for only $2.99. Pretty cool, right? Let's take a look on the inside real quick. I know some guys like to know about the insides. Pull the uh, locking lever down, press the trigger, and it slides right off. Just like on any semi-automatic nowadays. The slide, good looking slide. Nothing to write home about there. Safety plunger, striker. Comes with a steel, fluted steel guide rod, not plastic like on some Glocks. That's nice. Flat spring, and then your barrel. It's just your run of the mill, nine millimeter barrel, tilting, nine by 19. Nitride coated. Put it together pretty simple stuff put the spring back in like that all right so to put it back together just like any other semi-automatic just like that You're good to go and i'm not going to talk about the box much because there's not much in here just the extra back strap some paperwork a lock and that's it nothing else <laughs> i'm surprised it didn't come in a cardboard box that is it. So there you go, guys. That is my review of the Canik TP9SF1 series. I think this is by far the best $299 you could possibly spend on a striker-fired polymer 
nine millimeter full size handgun. There really is no other gun out there that can offer you this much quality and performance for only $299. That's insane. I'm gonna say it one more time before I go. $299 for this gun. Fantastic. Alright guys, hit that like button to support my channel. I appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the Canik TP9SF1 series for $299. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.